nice melody. Uh, so we've just uh, started our trip um, down to Wellington. Seems to be stuck in a bit of traffic. It's day two of our trip. We stayed in Topo last night. Melody has nothing to say for herself. We can't find a coffee shop. Oh yeah, the coffee in Topo is lacking. We're not gonna lie. How would we survive out in the wilderness? <laughs> And in the suburbs of Topol. I'm gonna buy a house out here, I reckon. Oh. My first home. Topol. With your 15 cats. Melody gets a soul back. <laughs> and this is the state of her right now. <laughs> I see you and you see me. Anna has an issue. <laughs> I have an issue. Anna has an issue. <laughs> oh my god, we need to stop right now. Okay, wait, can, you know, can you tell us what that is? Issue means that. We're no, we're not describing <laughs> issue. There's a problem. I've also forgotten how to say issue now. How do I not want to say it? Issue. Are issue. you right? <laughs> issue. <laughs> issue? Do you have an issue? No, how do you normally say issue? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, anyway, we've arrived in Wellington. We're now driving to Brooklyn. We're going to get cocktails. To get cocktails. And that is that. And that is that. <laughs> ah! <laughs> so windy! Okay, we're going to go find some coffee. But I don't mind a single bit. What time is that? I don't know. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Melody. What do we say about the glasses? Okay, we're going to an op shop to get me some new glasses. What's wrong with these? Right? I can't see the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to be remembered like this or with your glasses on? Glasses on. <laughs> Yeah, that's a wind turbine. What are the wind turbines? Well, I think they harness wind and turn it into electricity, but don't quote me on that. Oh. You see you being pensive? What? <laughs> what was the word you used? Pensive. Pensive. You don't know how much you have until it's gone. <laughs> Melody, here's some filming tonight. She's very scared. So the reason why we're in Wellington at all is because Melody is doing a showing of her work in progress. What can you tell us about your work in progress, Melody? It's about gender. <laughs> Melody doesn't know what she's doing. No, I do know. Okay, it's happening in how many hours? Two hours. This is the face of absolute stress. <laughs> oh, no. This is gonna be fun, man. Yay! Are you nervous? Yes. <laughs> okay, Melody just did her performance. She's very happy with herself. But I wasn't until I had feedback. <laughs> Are you making fun of the sphere? Yep. <laughs> it's very fun. We're going to go play. Giant Connect Four. There's a gigantic kiwi fruit right here where you share your hopes and dreams. <laughs> there are clowns everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Are you 
this we've uh, come to a random party. They've got a sort of tree hut sort of hill vibe. You can see the uh, sailing ships. Oh is it the technical term for a wow. yacht? Delightful. <laughs> There's a kayaker out there. Absolutely delightful. What a bizarre place. Bizarre. I was wondering why Melody took the world's shortest shower. <laughs> it's because she had some ice cream to attend to. No, it wasn't. It's saving water. Are you happy with me? Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Also, the salt and vinegar chips. No, because then I need to eat something else to get the salt and vinegar out. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Today, Melody is sporting another one of her extremely fashionable glasses. <laughs> These are somewhat better. <laughs> Don't take your glasses off like you're not just wearing them in <laughs> public. <laughs> Well, we've just stopped off on the uh, Carpety Coast to see Matt Waters, get some fish and chips. I'm waiting for some cider that I won't be drinking. Why won't you be drinking it? Because I get drunk after half a can. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done, Melody? Um, but just like there's a pot. <laughs> <laughs> this is our little home for oh, the night. Yeah. We're surrounded by sheep and horses. Yeah, we're getting the uh, New Zealand experience. <laughs> This is the inside. When was that cafe closed? It closes at four. Yeah. So should we go through the animals, get me a milkshake, and then... <laughs> By let's get me a milkshake, do you mean I get you a milkshake? <laughs> <laughs> get yeah. Hello. Hi. Yes, you're pretty. You're pretty. Imagine if it chomps my fingers. No, you don't want to feed the deck in oh, your really? hand. Oh, I don't know. But there's no teeth. The ducks definitely have teeth. Oh my god, look at the in their eyes. Yeah. <laughs> He's fine. We had a new friend. <laughs> yes? Yes. I wonder if we've missed the opportunity for a milkshake. Uh, wouldn't that be tragic? <laughs> what are these alpacas' last name? <laughs> They're from the Camelot family. <laughs> Melody thought they were from the Camelot family. <laughs> I said my last name is Bennington and the alpaca's last name was Camelot. <laughs> oh, I mean, like, to the farm. Oh. Um, the Because what? Because Some farmers treat their alpaca, their animals alpaca, like family. Animals like family, yeah. So Camelot would have been the last name. <laughs> What dumb should I say? The least you like me. Mm. What are you saying? You're going to say something so dumb that you're going to be like... Um... Baby goats are the male version of a sheep. You guys look the same. <laughs> it's an altercation. The spit when they're like fighting, it's so weird. I like a 
You said what, the vegetarian pie? You said I've got the uh, chicken and cheese. I did not manage <laughs> to get the banoffee pie pre-demolition. We can go grey. Just gone to the Blue Lakes. No, Blue Springs. Wow. What were your thoughts? It was delightful. <laughs> Absolutely delightful. Absolutely delightful. I just realised that I forgot to end this thing. I was going to get Melody to, I don't know, say goodbye. But um, we're now back in Auckland, and I am at my improv class, and that's it. Here's a bag of onions on the side of the road.